Hey there, WordPress nerds. My name's Chris, and I am your friendly neighborhood support Jedi with Sprout Apps. For this video, we're going to get down and dirty with our Gravity Forms integration. Now, if you don't know what Gravity Forms is, Google it. I'm just kidding. I'll tell you. Uh, Gravity Forms is one of the easiest tools to create sort of advanced forms for your WordPress site. Now the Sprout Invoices integration allows you to build an easy solution to create super rad invoices and estimates based on your client's uh, form selections. Now if you don't know how to use Gravity Forms, you're going to have to watch another video for that. They aren't paying me. Uh, so make sure, first of all, you have the Gravity Forms plus Sprout Invoices integration plugin um, installed and activated. So now we can go to Forms, and here I've created kind of a basic uh, form just for our purposes, but you can really go to town with the customizations here. There's tons of options, so make sure you explore that, but do it on your own time. Now back to me. Uh, so you're going to click on settings and go to Sprout Invoices. Uh, from here, we're going to click Add New. Now, essentially what we're going to be doing here is teaching Sprout Invoices how to communicate with Gravity Forms. We're going to be showing Sprout Invoices how to recognize certain fields so it can use that information submitted on your form. So go ahead and click Estimate since that's what we're going to be generating for our potential client. Then you're just gonna run through these fields and match them to the fields on your form. Now, really you can be as specific or generic as you want, it's your life. Now, once you get through those fields, you're gonna see a drop-down box for line items. This actually syncs with a specific field from your Gravity Form. So let's go ahead and update so it saves our settings and then head back to the Gravity Form. So you'll see over here pricing fields, and this is what we're looking for for those line items. So you can add those into your form. I've just added a simple product one here, and then we'll head back to the Sprout Invoices settings. So once you're back here, uh, you'll notice that drop-down box now has those different pricing fields, and you can cho choose to include all of them or just one of them. It's totally up to you. Uh, we're going to skip this line here since we're using those line items. And then the last option here um, is if you want the client to automatically be redirected to their new automatically created estimate. So let's go ahead and click that, update settings, and then we're going to preview this to see it in action. So put in all the info and then click the big shiny blue button at the bottom. Now you'll see it automatically redirects the client to their estimate. Yes, I know automatically isn't a word, I just made it up, but technically all words are made up, so yeah. Now, let's head back to our WordPress admin and see all the fun things that happened in our absence. So if you head to estimates, wherever that is, um, you'll see your new estimate there, boom. Now, if you head to clients, you'll see that it also created a new client for you. Boom. This is just getting way too easy, guys. So hey, thanks for joining us on this edition of Chris Learns to Do Things First so he can show you how to do things. Until next time, happy invoicing, nerds.